Do I like these better because Liam Howlett told me to? This is the question I'm asking myself. There is something different, but is it because I think Liam Howlett is so brilliant? Liam, I would love to sing for you. Let's make it happen. We could both wear these in the studio. <laughs> I'm not a tech reviewer, but I am a music producer, a person who makes videos and a human. I've never been bothered about having the very best thing, the most expensive thing, the shiniest thing. I usually just find the best thing at the amount of money that I can afford and I use it forever. But when I came across Flare Audio on Twitter a few months ago, I was very interested and drawn in by the way that they talk about sound. Listen to this. When we started Flare 10 years ago, we were on a mission to try and remove as much unwanted distortion from sound as possible. During the research and development for our new product, Karma, just over a year ago, we learnt just how much distortion is added to sound by our own ears. Like a fingerprint, everyone's ear distortion is unique to them. And because of this, traditional sound devices are never going to be able to deliver a truly high definition, universal sound quality. <laughs> Just to say, this is not a sponsored video, but Flare Audio did send me these products for free. I'm under no obligation to say anything about them at all, let alone only say nice things. I promise I will always be honest with you about this sort of thing, and I will only ever recommend products that I think are worth your money. So in this video, I'm going to show you what they sent me and tell you what I think about it. And it's perfect timing because my job today is to listen to some mixes of my new album and send notes back to my mix engineer so that he can make some tweaks for me. This is the Obey Robots album, which is a collaboration between me and Rap from Ned's Atomic Dustbin. And I'm the producer, so it's my job to make sure that everything sounds how I envisioned it. Envisioned? Is there an audio version of that word? As Liam Howlett from The Prodigy says, I don't usually use headphones when I'm doing a final mix in the studio, but I have been with these because of the level of detail I can hear right down to the lower end frequencies too. The stereo imaging is the best I've heard, and above all, they're accurate with no distortion in the ear. And that is that. I'm not gonna argue with Liam Howlett, am I? First up, I'm using my trusty over-ear headphones, and of course, I'll cut to a suitably generic backing track so I don't ruin any surprises. I like this sound. Uh, I haven't listened to these for such a long time. This whole album project's been really delayed. So it's lovely to get to this point actually and sit and be close to the end. Very exciting indeed. Um, I made a few notes already. There's some backing vocals need to come up. I think the bass might need to be more prominent. Um, I don't know if that's an EQ thing or a volume thing. So it might be about shaping the sound rather than just turning it up. You can't turn everything up. So I'm gonna switch now to the Shaw SE215 headphones, which I would never normally use for this sort of thing. I use these for listening to music and listening to podcasts when I'm running. Um, I also use them to hear the tracks from my loop pedal and my vocals when I'm doing live stream gigs. If you hear any funny snuffling or chewing noises, that's because Albie and Luna are in the room. Good girls, good girls. This time I'm gonna listen a bit more closely to vocals and see if the levels between them work for me and whether the levels between them and the music also works. And now I've got these in my ears, I feel like I'm underwater. So if I'm shouting, I apologize. <laughs> Let's listen again. I'm just trying to figure out comparatively what's different about these two sets of headphones and I don't know. Oh, okay. They sound more, um, I wanna say more clear, more open, sort of fresher. What does that even mean? Yeah, more clear, a lot more clear. And then when I put these on, there's not a huge difference in, um, ooh, I'm gonna make sure you can't hear that. These say it sound muffled, the others sound clearer. 
you know, I just think it sounds fab. Must be the music. Um, okay, we'll try these flare audio e-prototypes. Ensure the earphone is fitted correctly with the tip facing forwards and the cable hanging downwards. It's good to read the instruction manual occasionally, isn't it? Sticking it in my ear hole. The cable is hanging down, the tip is facing out. I don't feel quite so underwater. If that's the metric of this test, I am less underwater currently, currently, <laughs> than I was with the Shure SE215. Is that what they're called? The volume level is the same. I'm going in. They do genuinely sound different. It's like I'm in a room listening to it instead of it being piped into my ear. Do I like these better because Liam Howlett told me to? This is the question I'm asking myself. Because when I listen using these headphones, it sounds kind of like more finished. Now these are professionally mixed songs, so they should sound finished. But there's something, there is something different. But is it because I think Liam Howlett is so brilliant? These headphones are more expensive than any headphones I've ever bought. And so I would hope the quality would be better than the ones I already have. It's a subtle difference though. And going back to what they say about distortion, that's an interesting thing, because this is... Am I a beauty blogger now? Okay. These are shaped quite differently. This one's got a longer bit here. Um, and yeah, it's interesting they're talking about reducing your ear's natural distortion. Because when I put these on and it feels like I'm underwater and it feels like I'm trapped in this world, that's nice in a way, and it's good for running and stuff because they're not gonna fall out as I jog along. But the clarity of sound that I get from my over-ear headphones is not in these ones. And I think it is in these ones, so yeah, interesting. Curveball though, because I found listening on speakers much better for this work over and above using the headphones and earphones. I found that the levels sounded more true to me as well because when I was listening using the earphones, I thought that the verse vocal was too quiet, but when I listen on speakers, it's absolutely fine. So I think I'll use a combination of speakers and the flare earphones for this kind of audio work. But I don't see any reason not to use the flare audio e-prototypes in place of anything I would use the Shure SE215s for, except for probably running, because even though these earphones were a very generous present, I still want to take very good care of them. And I don't think that running around my neighborhood and sweating on them is the very best use of quite a luxe feeling pair of earphones. My favourite headphones slash earphones for listening to a finished song. This is a drum roll by the way. The Flare Audio e-prototype. Hands down. Like I said, the detail is great. There's a feeling of space in there, very comfortable in the ears, and I don't feel like I'm being pressed into a tiny space uh, underwater, which is always a bonus. I love the cord. The cord is really high quality and I have had problems with these kinds of headphones in the past where these bits wear away or they rub on something and then you end up with like bare wire and then it stops working and it's terrible. Um, I broke a few pairs just by using them a lot. That really sucks, it's expensive and annoying. I love the fit of them, they feel really comfortable. The whole thing about reducing natural distortion in your ear to improve the sound, what's not to like about that? What's not to like about these? I found two things I didn't like. The first thing is that these bits here, you get three sets of these, which is really cool. So it's a small, medium and a large. And obviously you can mix and match depending on what feels comfortable in your ear. That's great, but they took so long to put on. And I was worried because this is a expensive piece of gear for me. And I do like to treat equipment with respect. And I was just worried I was gonna break something by pushing too hard. So maybe there's some knack to it that I don't possess. Whatever, so that, that was frustrating. I, I actually got quite annoyed. The other thing is I've got my Focusrite Claret just over here on the desk. It's only just over an arm's length away. But if I was to plug straight into there, they only just reach. So 
So I can wear, I mean, okay, now I feel like I'm really picking holes, but okay. But I can't, I couldn't go back in my seat. Sometimes I like to push back in my seat to listen. And I can only go to, I could go to there. So I actually feel a little bit tethered. So what I've had to do is use a headphone connector. And I don't know if that degrades the audio quality a bit. Perhaps it does, perhaps it doesn't. I was using the headphone connector the whole time and the audio was great, so maybe it's okay. But I don't really see any reason why you couldn't have a slightly longer cable because the SE215s have a really long cable and I really like that. Is that like half a meter? It might be half a meter of extra cable, which I find to be very useful. Uh, that's it though. They're brilliant. I would recommend these to you. They're currently on the Flare Audio website at £250. So if that's an amount of money that doesn't freak you out, that's something that you can afford and you would like to have a nice treat of a nice pair of headphones slash earphones, then I would highly recommend these. I think they're great. Flare have very kindly given me my own affiliate link. So if you're interested in any Flare Audio products at all, please consider using my link from the description box below. It all really helps keep this channel going. Thank you. Thanks for joining me today. If you want to be one of the very first to know about the Obey Robots album going on pre-order, which is not too far away now, then click the link in the description box below to sign up to my mailing list and I'll send you two free songs and some stories into your inbox right away. And you're always very welcome to join my correspondence club to receive exclusive art and music bundles and support the making of new music and videos. See you in the next video.